Hi, my name is Amy Blassingame, and I would like to welcome you to this TipWeb IT training session. Our topic today is pinpointing items with tags, and it truly is within the TipWeb IT application all about the tag. So we'll discuss what are tags, how do tags get into TipWeb IT, where do tags reside or live within the application, and how do tags move around. If you'll notice at the bottom of your screen under Files to Download, there's a handout, and it contains the five key concepts I'll be sharing with you during this session. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, and we'll get started. All right, key concept number one. It truly is all about the tag. And what is a tag? A tag is a unique, one-time occurring number within the application. If you'll look at the top of my screen, you'll see I have an example of a tag. Tags can be printed from within the application, or they can be purchased outside the application. But the key concept is that any asset you want to track needs to have that unique one-time occurring number associated with it. You can see the monitor on my screen, and I've highlighted the area where there is a tag attached. So that's key concept number one. Next concept, there are three ways tags get into TipWeb IT. The first way is through data conversion. Data conversion consists of previously existing tags within your district. Those tags, along with data associated to them, are organized into a spreadsheet, and then that data is uploaded into TipWeb IT. So that's the first way. The second way we get tags into the application is through what we call purchase orders. It's very important to understand that once you purchase the application, from that time and moving forward, any new acquisitions or i.e. new tags that you want to track within the application need to be brought in through a purchase order. And the last way we get tags in the application is through a process called initialization. Initialization is used to get those pre-existing tags that were missed during the data conversion or if no data conversion was done. It allows us to get those previously existing tags into the application. And we do it through a very special process called initialization. And what we actually do is we initialize those tags into a specific room. So those are the three ways that tags are um, put in the application. Key concept number three, a tag must be associated or assigned to a product in the catalog. So an example of a very specific product in a catalog might be a Dell, Latitude, 13 laptop. It's a very specific product. Once that product is in your catalog, you can begin to assign tags to that specific product. So that's key concept number three. Next concept, tags can reside in one of three places, but they can only reside in one place at a time. So a tag can be assigned or reside in a specific room. Or a tag can be assigned to a staff member. Or a tag can be assigned to a student. Again, the key concept is, though, that that tag can only live or reside in one place at a time. Assigned to a room, or assigned to a staff member, or assigned to a student. And our last key concept is that once tags are in the application, they can be moved around. And they can move around in one of four ways. The first way a tag can move is from room to room. And we call this room to room transfer. The second way a tag can be moved is it can be moved from a staff, I'm sorry, from a room, and assigned to a staff or student. If that staff or student should leave the district, that tag can be collected back into a room. 
so a tag can move from my staff or student back into a room. And lastly, a tag can move from site to site. So for instance, we can take a tag that is at site a high school, and we can transfer it to, say, a middle school. And that's called a site to site transfer. So let's go back and just quickly review what we've discussed today. We've talked about tags. And we've talked about what are tags, that unique one-time occurring number within the application. How do tags get into TIP Web IT? Through data conversion, purchase order, or initialization. Where do tags reside? In one of three places, assigned to a room, assigned to a staff member, or a student. And we also talked about how tags move around. I want to encourage you as we finish up this session today that if you have any questions on this topic that were not answered in this video, feel free to call 1-800-495-5993 and you'll get the support that you need. You can also email at support at .com. And lastly, if you'll look in the bottom part of your screen under web links, you'll see an icon that says Support Center. If you click on Support Center, it will take you to an area where this video is residing, along with many others that will help you as you learn the TIP Web IT application. And last of all, I want to show you that if you're logged in to the home page of your IT application, look in the lower left-hand corner of your screen, and you'll see that there's a Support Center icon. Click on that, and it will take you back to that place where all those videos are residing so that you can get more help as you need it. So we'll see you at the next video. Thanks for joining us.